Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm with Lou. Hello. And we are outside Ikea. Yes, we are. About to go shopping. You haven't said they're wonderful every day. Ikea. <laughs> That's they're the one. wonderful every day. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we should put a caption Oh up, yeah. <laughs> making the edit hard for myself. <laughs> yeah, so we are about to have a little browse around Ikea. I've got a little return to do of the sink. What was it? It was out of stock, wasn't it? Yeah, mm. you got half of it. That's right. And then you couldn't get the other yeah, half Yeah, the anywhere. cabinet part was, was out it. of stock. So anyway, I've got a sink to return. So we'll get that out of the way, but then we're going to have a little look around and see what sort of festive bits are in store. So we thought it'd be nice to just see any Christmas Christmas inspiration. Oh yes, yes, absolutely. All that festive Potentially stuff. Potentially some meatballs. I think we should stop and have some lunch too. We've already Definitely. had a little, um, you and yeah. you and got us a coffee. Cheeky flat white, get yeah. us in the mood. What did you get sweet treat wise? What was your sweet treat? Well, I actually asked for something different. I asked for a clementine and something what cake. What did she give you? It was lemon. I thought so. Yeah, I know. I was like eating it thinking this isn't what I asked for, but it was delicious anyway. Yeah. Um, and Luke has just eaten a, what was it, caramel shortbread? Oh, caramel shortbread. They're my weakness. I love yeah. them. We're I'm fired up. Oh, we had a little so sugar good. rush. Coffee, sugar. It's about the only way you can do Ikea, isn't Yeah, it? that's it. You can't ever go in there hungry. No. So, fueled up. We'll have a little look around at all the festive stuff. Have some meatballs. Good to go. Oh, actually, this one. Oh, my God. Before, they've got yeah. the food hall. Oh, and it's yeah. And the food shop. Oh, I know what you mean. With yeah. The mini biscuits. Yeah. And the dimes. Let yeah. me know if you know what I mean. But, um. Yeah. Oh, we'll have a look around brilliant. that. And the lemonades. Oh, yeah, brilliant. yeah. Excellent stuff. Excellent. I'm excited. Me too. So, we'll get cracking. Quick sip of the old coffee. Mm. <laughs> Don't forget, if you're new here, click subscribe for new videos every single week. And head over to Luke's channel. I'll link it in Excellent. the description box down below. And are you vlogging today? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm going to be doing this in a bit of DIY. Oh, you're back. Oh, oh, classic. Have you got a separate one? Off to a good start. <laughs> Might be vlogging on my phone. Oh, I think I do. <laughs> good stuff. Okay. We'll catch you when we're inside. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Just grabbed a tape measure. And as we come into the store, the first thing we've spied is a mauled fruit drink. Hmm, nice. Got these gold pots too, which are very nice to put a poinsettia in. £1.75, nice for Christmas time. A bottle of wine going in the bag. <laughs> Luke's on it. Is that alcoholic? It is. Is it? 11.30 in the morning. Why oh. <laughs> Buy two for a fiver. I know. Well, wow. I it, but I'm not sure if it's nice. I've never had it before. Oh, that's true. Mulled fruit drink. Mm. Oh, yeah. I was just saying my pronunciation might be wrong, but I think it's glug. I think that's how you say the O's like or a U. Like glug. 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 Love it. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Little napkin holder. I just said to Luke, I don't think it's alcoholic. He's put it straight back. <laughs> yeah. Need, need that uh, little kick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this little tiny, cute little sofa. For compact space, I like that. And that's good, isn't it? 40 pounds. Wow. wow, that's great. I really like that, it's quite stylish, isn't it? Oh, I think that's just the... Oh, is it just the cover? That's just the cover. Oh yeah, yeah I was gonna say. <laughs> and this is a good idea, they've got a folding desktop here, which is 35 pounds. That's a good little solution if you are short of space. Yeah. This is called a decoration dish, 12 pounds. Nice to put a wreath in. Love that. Luke's getting comfy. <laughs> Do you know what? I, I've always looked at these. They're very nice. 350, it's not bad, is it? Well, that's good. Just very nice and squidgy. That's a really good price. Yeah, and you can take the cover off and wash them. Yeah. I like the colour of the cover as well. Yeah, it's like oatmeal, really. isn't Yeah, it's lovely. It's looking very festive in here. They've got some of the trees up. These smaller trees, they sell. So these ones are £25 and, oh that says £4, I think that's just the pot. And then the little tree is £9. Quite sweet, I like the way that the branches are quite realistic on these. And they've got these taller trees. Oh these lights are interesting, they've got these net ones. They're quite sweet aren't they? And some lovely decorations too got some nice gift wrap, I like this, with the nice simple white design, these gift bows. And what are these, little mini Christmas trees? Are they made out of felt? Or card? I'm sure they're card, maybe they go 3D, I'm not sure. I like these bottle brush trees that they've got, and they've put some into one of these vases, which are £15. It's a nice way to do a little display. 
they've got these tins of ginger thins and these are two for seven pounds I always admire this kitchen when I come to Ikea I love this forest green color got a few nice bits for having with coffee orange thins almond thins and cappuccino thins these are one pound 45 each and they'd be quite a nice little Christmas present and they've also got the coffee and this is three pound 95 500 grams that's good I've never tried their coffee so I'm not sure what it's like but yeah it's a good price and I like the packaging too looks like a nice comfy chair that's 129 just saying to Luke that I quite like the fact that this IKEA is a little bit smaller. It's slightly less overwhelming, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, sometimes, it, oh gosh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. sometimes it can be like a lot. Yeah, and this just feels like nice and easy to get around. And also, mm. I think coming on a Monday, like mid morning, is quite a good time to come to. And the daylight. Like, yeah, yeah, that's true. Often you don't get that, do you? Mm -hmm. So it's quite nice to see things in the daylight in the store. Definitely. Yeah. Got some nice cushion covers here. This has got kind of like gold spots on it. Quite nice for autumn time with the mustard. These chairs are really cool. They remind me of kind of like 60s, 70s style. You imagine like a black and white TV in front of that. <laughs> 179, very nice. I like they're quite timeless. 10 year guarantee too. Yeah, what are they like? Oh. Nice? Do you know what? Yeah. Very, very okay. nice. Get a couple of these in your office. Oh, oh yeah. It's good in here. Yeah, that is good. It's not bad. I like the um, arms as yeah. well. Kind of like, you're so how you feel a little be. bit like you're on an aeroplane, but yeah, yeah, comfy. Very nice. Just like need the remote. It's like Jim Royal. <laughs> yeah. Good to go. Good to go. Lovely. <laughs> This shelving unit seems like really good value to me. This is £15 and it's made of metal. I think this would be a good bit of additional storage in a kitchen if you wanted to put all your jars on this. But also you could probably use it outside and I was thinking as well, you could spray it too if you didn't like the colour. Because it's white it would be quite easy to spray any colour you liked. These baskets are really nice for £6 each with this nice chunky woven wicker. I think that's really good. They're nice and robust, so if you've got heavy products in here, they should be nice and sturdy. This is £6 for the re, and this garland is also £6. This is really cute, this tiny little Christmas tree, which is £1.50. This is a cool new piece. It's a table and two stools for £149, and this would be really good for a kitchen or somewhere kind of in between a kitchen and a living area. It's kind of like a little bar. The bar stools are £25 each which I think seems really reasonable. Then you've got the poles on the side that you can hang things on too and also one across the top so you could have some things hanging from there as well. It's really clever. Welcome Luke's found the bar. <laughs> what did I get you? Oh. That's not mine. <laughs> to to the side. I'll have one of these please. Isn't this cool? Yeah. I'm saying spot this. Oh that's cool. What is it? I don't know if it's sold here. But it's like an old petrol dispenser. Oh wow. I think they've made it into some kind of like drink so you can fill up. Oh that's cool. cool? Yeah. I love that. Like, look, it's brilliant. I like this bar and set up. Look at this, like a lazy Susan. Oh that's very clever. It's built into the storage. Love that. Genius, isn't it? Yeah. Honestly, they're pulling out all the stops. Yeah, very cool. Just looking at these areas showing how businesses can use the IKEA products to display all of their wares. Very clever. It is. All the shelving put together here and countertops. It's very Parisian. Isn't they even it? do the screens for desks. That's oh, so good. Yeah. Love the storage underneath the bench here. That's a great idea. This is a funky looking kitchen. I love the way they've just used this pops of red with the monochrome. I feel like you could imagine this somewhere in Europe. <laughs> kind of like a cool little Airbnb or something. Love it. Oh, it's another one of these Lazy Susans that we just spotted. It's a good idea, isn't it? Got loads of storage in these cupboards. The great thing about these is they go right the way to the ceiling. So you can really utilize the height with these tall shelves and tall cupboards. These shelves are quite nice dimensions too, just perfect for putting glasses on above a sink, so they're ready to grab. Just 
looking at the knobs because I need to pick up some for the doors in the bathroom and also the loft. I'm thinking maybe go for these. They're quite nice traditional looking porcelain ones. And then for the loft, I was thinking maybe just something really simple like these little black ones. We've stopped for lunch and we've gone for the veggie or vegan. Vegan is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, vegan meatballs. Plant -based, yeah, yeah plant-based meatballs. Eight with all of this for two quid. What a bargain. So Luke's I'm gone for chips it. with his. Not yeah, get involved. involved. <laughs> so nice. Yum. So lunch was a success. We've just come into the marketplace now. So I'm just gonna pick up a few little bits and pieces that I need. So I need to get the knobs for the bathroom storage, for the cupboard doors, and also for the lock doors. And I also need to get some storage containers. And I'm gonna try and get some garden fencing too for the roof garden. These cushion covers are nice. These are only two pounds 50 each. And they've got really nice colors, the mustard, the gray, and then this lovely white as well. It's good. Just spotted this Roman blind and this is 15 pounds and I think that's really lovely it's like a green and kind of creamy colored stripe and it comes in all the different sizes too love that just spotted these room darkening curtains which are 40 pounds a pair which seems like good value to me nice got loads of curtain options in here loads of different colors to choose from just spied this, which is a cordless screwdriver, and it's eight pounds, so I thought we'd give that a go. Looks like it's rechargeable, has all the bits with it, and I just think for assembling flat pack, even just for that, this would be so handy. And in there, it does come with the IKEA um, little screw bits too. For assembling IKEA furniture, it'd be really handy for that as well. Quite like this mirror for 50 pounds. Like the unusual top on it, that's cool. Gosh, that's reasonable. This mirror is eight pounds and it comes with the shelf too. Wow. Got some nice bits of bathroom storage in here. This is good for 45 pounds, this tall unit that narrows at the top. I like that a lot. That might potentially fit in the ensuite. Then we have this towel stand in Birch, 35. That's good and I like these stools too. It has a little bit of storage in there. These are sweet, they have the white poinsettias in here. I think these are three pounds, that's good. Little four poinsettias? Yeah. Oh yeah. Luke spotted these buckets, you know I'm a fan of a bucket, if you watch the car boot sale oh, vlog, yeah, I'm obsessed the rusty with them. Bucket. They're really cool. Yeah. I wonder how much they are. Sure oh, three pounds fifty, that's good. Yeah. It's not bad at all, is it? Then we've got these trugs as well. Oh. Actually, I don't think they are. I think these are just the tins that they use to display them in. Uh, I keep spotting prices and it's not the right price in this shop. I think they're just their own containers. I don't know if they sell them separately. I'm not sure. We've just finished up at the marketplace. It continues down here and I think this is where they've got all the Christmas decorations and the Christmas trees and things like that. So we're going to have a good look at all of those. Luke's got the trolley. Got a very festive looking area here. Welcome to Santa's workshop. So got these little soft toys. These are three pounds each. Look at these guys. I love how traditional it all is. You know, just the really simple red and brown paper. They've got these Christmas tree stands for 13 pounds. They look nice sturdy ones. If you've got a big wide trunk on your tree they look good I like these koala bears any viewers in Australia very cute they've got these tea lights and these are only £1.25 for 30 
And these tea light holders are sweet too, little houses, quite a big size. That's £4.50. This is a very cool looking wreath for only £3.50 and you could add some things to that. Love that. Cute little tin for £1. I love these bottles. I'm not sure how much these are, but I thought they would be really nice to decant some sort of liqueur in or spirit and give it as a gift with a nice little gift tag on it. Looking at these frames, which could be quite good to build kind of a little canopy or that sort of thing. Very cool. I think we've got most stuff that we came in for. Luke unfortunately couldn't get the little stoppers. What are they called? The screw covers? Yeah, it's like when you assemble a piece of IKEA furniture, once you've got your shelves in place, there's all the holes. And yeah. It didn't look that great, but I'll get them next time. Oh, they're one pound for a pack of like a hundred, but they were, they were all the way back in kitchen accessories, so we must have missed them. <laughs> we're just looking at the second hand section. So you can actually bring IKEA furniture into store and sell it back to them. So this huge table is 50 pounds. Look at the size of that, and that was 115, so you can pick up some really good bargains in this bit. It's good, 35 pounds, this swivel back chair. Real bargain here, this one is 50 pounds and it was 230. Look at the size of that, and then they have another option here down to 25. Just needs a good paint and a good clean up, and this was 85 pounds. So we finished up at Ikea and we've just hopped over to the Greenwich Retail Park, one of our favourite places oh, in the whole wide world. We've spent many a year here, haven't we? <laughs> oh, we have. We are at the Home of Sense. <laughs> we're about to go in and in the window I can already see lots of Christmassy bits. It's very exciting, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Yes. Martha Stewart bows in the window. It's looking very festive in here. Look at that snowman. 1999. massive selection of Christmas wreaths in here. They're all around £20, which I think is really good. They've got some good sizes. Look at this pink one. It's good fun. 19 99 for that. Love these. Really like this one too. That's 16 99 Prices are great. Oh, they've got Snoopy cards. I absolutely love Snoopy. How sweet are these? Those are 4 99 for 15 And I've also spotted this one here that says Resting Grinch Face. Those are 5 99 They've got some lovely cards in here, actually. Really good selection. Hand sanitizer, Santa baby, slipper bottle under the tree for me. Hmm, <laughs> how cute are these gift tags? Got some really unusual decorations, I have to say. I mean, we have a giraffe here wearing a wreath. 
as a stocking hanger. There's also a leopard at the back there, should you be inclined. Some really interesting ornaments. Look at the Santa. <laughs> Look at these guys. Got lots of gift sacks too, and lots and lots of gift bags. Sweet, with all the little cats on it. Oh. These are rather fab. These DKMY pillows are a really big size and you get two for $39.99. I think that's a great colour. They've got these Ray Dunn plant misters for $7.99 that says home and spray. These are nice, these set of four placemats by Ralph Lauren. Very festive. Oh, we've got some different designs too. That's lovely. I really like this simple holly design. We've got little wintry scenes. These are $9.99 per set. Those are fab, aren't they? Wow, I love the amount of choice you get too. They've also got the tablecloths for $14.99 and I just think the prints on these are so stunning. Look at this one, really rich red, traditional. And you've got the one with the holly on behind it here. I just want to go for a really simple red and white. I do love a festive bowl. I mean, I don't have any space for them, but <laughs> if I had a huge house, I feel like I would need to have a Christmas crockery collection. <laughs> Glass of cheer, that's cool. They've got some beautiful glasses in store. These are pretty with these snowflakes on them. I imagine you could put warm drinks in there too, and those are 9 99 which is great for four. That's very good. Some various drinks in store. And gourmet food section, good for gift ideas. Just swinging by Home Bargains for a quick look. They've got the Wickford & Co as gift sets. I'm not sure how much these are, but they've got the candles too. The gingerbread one's really good. I've had that one before. Good, 9 99 for a willow tree skirt. This is really nice. I thought that's quite a nice idea for Advent. You could light different candles on the run up to Christmas. Nice simple design for 7 99 I think that's fab. Just spotted these ornament storage bags, which are 7 99 That's such a good idea. You can stack them all in like that. I've got these treat walls if you're having a party made of uh, cardboard that you can hang donuts on and they're 2 99 they're good fun. They've also got these inflatable picture frames and various foil balloons. They've got Sylvalians and these look like they're some good prices. They've got, yeah, half price or less on these. Okay, so I'm back from the shops. It's very echoey in here because I'm sitting in the empty bedroom, which I'm in the throes of putting back together. But yeah, I had such a fun day with Luke going around Ikea, and then we went to HomeSense, as you saw, and also Home Bargains. And it was just really nice to have a good old mooch about with a friend. Luke is great to go shopping with. We're on the same page. We take our time, we enjoy looking at everything, and we just 
thoroughly enjoy it. So it was a lovely day out to the shops and yeah, I liked seeing all the bits that they had in store. They had some really nice bits. Let me know in the comments if anything caught your eye in any of the shops that we visited. I only picked up a few things, but I'll just quickly show you everything that I did buy. First of all, in Ikea, I bought four of these scubs. So these are containers that are zippable, that are good for storing things like jumpers, well, anything really, but they're good for inside the wardrobe. I've got the Pax wardrobe in here in grey, so I thought those would go quite nicely in there and help me get that a little bit better organised. So hopefully I can pop these along the base and, yeah, sort out lots of things into these. So I've got four of those. Then I've also got one of these sets of, they're kind of like, smaller storage containers. You get different sizes in here and you get six boxes in total. So you can pop these into drawers to organize various things. They just zip up like that and they're really handy for organizing. And then I got this. This is probably my favorite purchase. I've never seen this before in Ikea, but I'm sure they've been doing it for ages. And it's a little handheld drill that has all the little drill bits. And you know when you're putting together flat pack furniture, little DIY jobs around the house, it comes with the charger and it also has the attachments for Ikea furniture. So it has the two little things that you usually have to get the keys for and spend ages winding around. So hopefully that'll really speed things up and speed things up when I put the bed back together. And then I also got some knobs for the bathroom and for the loft. So I went for these ones in the end for the bathroom cupboards. These nice kind of white with a little, is it gold or, no it's chrome. It's hard to tell actually, it's a very kind of subtle chrome if that makes sense. It could almost be gold. And yeah, I just thought they were nice and traditional. And I went for the traditional sink in the bathroom and I feel like with the tiles that we've got, these will be really nice. So I picked up those. These were four pounds for two. So I've got enough to do all the cupboards in the bathroom. And then I got these ones for the cupboards in the loft, which just the really simple, tiny little black ones, which I just thought were the, probably the nicest ones. Well, they weren't the nicest, but they, I probably just thought they were the most sort of suitable for those small cupboards in the eaves. I didn't want anything too kind of out there. And of course, easy to switch up in the future if I wanted to. So yeah, those are the ones that I went for. And finally, one, oh no, one more thing. Then I got these little hooks. I just spotted these and thought they were so nice. They're in a kind of nice brass. They're quite small, but I thought they'd be really good for on the backs of doors, just anywhere you need to hang something up. I actually thought it might be quite nice to hang one either side on the headboard. I thought that could look quite cool. I'm not sure what for, but yeah, I just thought it'd be quite like a nice little touch on the headboard with that green. What do you think? Might be a nice little addition to that. And then one festive thing that I did pick up, <laughs> and it was this, which was only a pound, and it is this little faux poinsettia. And I just thought that was really sweet, and it'll be a nice pop of colour in a plant pot. I do love poinsettias at Christmas time, but they never last very long with me, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, if anyone has any tips for keeping the real ones alive, I would love to hear them. But yeah, I thought that was great for a quid. And I got a couple of bits in Home Bargains, literally just a couple of dust sheets. These are lightweight dust sheets, these are 1.99 each. And they're 3.2 meters square, so a nice big size. And they feel like they're quite sturdy. I was actually tripping over the plastic dust sheets that I've got. So I thought those would be a good option when I'm doing some more decorating in the coming days and weeks. But yeah, that is everything. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, do give it a little thumbs up. And don't forget if you're new here to click subscribe. I post new videos every single week. And stay tuned for the bedroom makeover. Actually, that might be up already. If it is, I will link it in the description box. And I'll link Luke's channel in the description box too, so you can go over and have a watch of his vlog from today and see the things that he spied in store. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.